I tried beating Terraria, but all of my weapons are guitars. Some shoot projectiles, while others let you play the most horrendous music to destroy the eardrums of your enemies. Will I be able to rock alongside the Moon Lord, or will I get booed off stage? Well, let's find out. I started off by chopping down trees, and then as quickly as possible, I ventured my way into the jungle in order to go mining there because I know that the jungle has a lot of valuable resources. I got myself a decent amount of iron, so once I came back to spawn, I crafted myself an anvil and then I went over to the corruption in order to break demon orbs so the meteor could spawn in as fast as possible. You guys should already know this by now. I blew myself up with the bombs and then I came back to spawn and using the Louis AFK prison builder I crafted myself a ton of NPC houses. I went back to mining because in order to actually craft ourselves some guitars we needed to get far more ores than we currently are in possession of. During this time I also got myself more HP and once I came back to spawn I saw that the merchant had moved in and he was selling a banjo. This was a guitar, I guess it's not really a guitar, but essentially it was a weapon that shot out a stream of arrows in all different directions. And it was absolutely horrific to use, I hated using the banjo and I could not wait to get an upgrade. I built myself more NPC houses and then started digging out a elevator. I kept on dying non-stop within this elevator, but during this time I also managed to craft myself an arena for the Eye of Cthulhu meaning that we're going to use the banjo to fight the Eye of Cthulhu very, very soon. As soon as it turned to nighttime, I made sure to equip my flame arrows, and then I started blasting the Eye of Cthulhu with the banjo. The music from this weapon was nothing special, but let me assure you that the songs to come are far greater than whatever this thing is. Well, anyways, with a lot of patience and perseverance, we took out the Eye of Cthulhu. The next best guitar that we can make is actually using Shadow Scales, so we're gonna have to defeat the Eater of Worlds with the banjo as well before we can upgrade to any guitars whatsoever. During this time, I continued to work on my elevator because I really wanted to find more life crystals and I believe this is one of the best ways next to going to the jungle to farm them out. And once I thought I had enough HP, I went over to the corruption, chucked some bombs at the orbs, and started defeating the Eater of Worlds. I made myself a tiny platform but this was super clutch. I mean, there were so many moments where I came extremely close to dying. Our arrows were shooting all over the place. They weren't listening to me whatsoever. We were dealing damage like the sky, the ground. We were shooting arrows at everything but the Eater of Worlds. Once again, after a ton and ton of patience, we actually defeated the boss and I could finally craft something worthwhile. Anyways, I got myself all the required materials and crafted myself the Zorax. This was a fish looking guitar that actually used musket balls as ammunition. Within the crafting recipe was also the illegal sand gun parts, so yeah, this was a little bit pricey, but it was well worth it. Because this is a whole different world of damage and accuracy from the banjo. After this, I also crafted a nightmare pickaxe and then I went to the underworld to farm out obsidian as well as hellstone. Once I had enough hellstone, I crafted myself a full set of molten armor and then I headed straight over to Skeletron's dungeon in order to try and defeat Skeletron. Using the Zorax we plowed through this boss and then I proceeded to go into his dungeon in order to farm out bones which we're gonna need for many crafting recipes within hard mode and then I also tried to pick up as many water candles as I could. Upon coming back to spawn I went over to the corruption in order to fight the eater of worlds because we needed more demonite bars. Using the demonite bars I converted them to crimtan and crafted myself the strat Blaster. This was a guitar that was essentially an assault rifle. This also used musket balls and or any other really ammunition that you can get your hands on. And I mean when I say this was fast, this was absolutely beyond rapid fire, like just check this out. I mean the music for this wasn't too good, it was just kind of audible notes, but you know, as long as it does good enough damage, I'll use it. After this, I went down to the underworld in order to make an arena for the wall of flesh. And once the arena was done, I actually headed over to the underground jungle in order to try and find more life crystals because we were only at 200 HP. Upon coming back to spawn, I went out of my way to pick up the meteor that had recently dropped. While I was mining the meteor, I got a notification on the bottom left of my screen that the goblin army was going to invade. I quickly picked up all the meteorite, came back to spawn, and crafted myself a guitar called the Meteora. This actually had a very pleasant sound, I'm not gonna lie, I really loved using this, and it was extremely overpowered. This was like the best space gun upgrade that you could possibly get in Terraria. Just check this out and tell me this is bad. It used mana as ammunition, but it didn't absolutely eat through our mana, so it was genuinely usable. After the goblin army was defeated, I went 
back to the jungle in order to max out my HP. And once I had 400 HP, I went down to the underworld in order to try and find myself a guide voodoo demon. For some reason, none were spawning and I got very, very frustrated. But after probably like 20 minutes of farming, one spawned in and I finally got myself a guide voodoo doll. Since I was completely prepared, I buffed up, chucked it into the lava and summoned in the wall of flesh. I tried to deal damage to it using my strato blaster, but then later decided to use the meteora as long as we still had enough mana. Once my mana would run out, I would go back to the other guitar and keep on switching like this until we took out the wall of flesh. Now that the wall of flesh is defeated, we are one step closer to becoming a baller rock star. I came back to spawn and immediately went to go break demon altars in order to bless our world with the hard mode ores. I blessed my world with cobalt, mithril, and titanium, and then I had to go through the grueling pickaxe progression. I first got myself a cobalt pickaxe, then got myself a mithril anvil, as well as a mithril pickaxe, and then I had to go farm out titanium. After I made myself a full set of titanium armor, my next goal was to make ourselves a brand new guitar that I was going to use before fighting the mech bosses called the Ancient Sitar. This was another mana firing guitar and it required us getting a forbidden fragment. So once I had that, I crafted the guitar and then I wanted to get myself a pair of wings. Using a gravitation potion, I made my way up to the Sky Islands and started grinding out wyverns. I used the Ancient Sitar as my go-to weapon to take out all of the mobs and the music behind this was fairly interesting. I mean, I can't say I really liked it, but it definitely was far better than the banjo. Once we killed enough wyverns, I came back to spawn, crafted myself a pair of harpy wings, and before fighting any of the mech bosses, the ancient sitar actually chewed up through our mana, so I went out of my way to craft myself a mana flower, I reforged all of my accessories to give ourselves more armor points, and with everything set in place, I went to go farm out souls of night as well as souls of light so that we can actually make ourselves a mechanical boss summons. And once we had everything in place, once it turned to nighttime, I buffed up, summoned in the destroyer, made sure I had a decent amount of mana potions on me, and used the ancient sitar to absolutely demolish the destroyer. The next boss on our list was the twins, and once again, using the ancient sitar, I took out spasmatism first and then very soon after took out Retinazer. After defeating these two bosses, we actually had the chance to make ourselves brand new guitars that would help us in the defeat of Skeletron Prime. The first guitar I crafted using one titanium, six souls of night, eight souls of might, and four cobwebs was called the Jaguar. Essentially, this was a shotgun guitar that shot musket balls and it was very good for clearing large crowds of enemies. After this, I went into Skeletron's dungeon and used the Ancient Satan to farm out bones so we can make the summon for Skeletron Prime. And along with this, I also made myself a magical harp because we needed that in order to craft a brand new guitar. I guess it's not really a guitar, but it was a hallowed lyre, which was just an upgrade to the harp. I crafted that, but I didn't really use it much as frankly, it wasn't as powerful as the ancient sitar, but I still kept it on hand and tried it up against Skeletron Prime. Once it turned to nighttime, I buffed up, summoned in the skeleton boyo, and then tried to kill him with the hallowed lyre. I really wasn't dealing too much damage with the liar, so I switched back to the sitar, and then I ended up finishing off Skeletron Prime. The jungle now grows restless. You know what else grows restless? The crowd cheering you on to subscribe to Boyo Boyo. So go ahead, make them happy, or else they might boo you off stage. After this, I went to go farm out Chlorophyte because the next guitars that we were going to craft had Chlorophyte as their primary crafting material. Once I gathered enough Chlorophyte, I came back to spawn and crafted myself the Strato Blaster Mark II. If you remember, the rapid fire guitar that we had at first was called the Strato Blaster, and if we combine it with Chlorophyte, Souls of Fright, and even more illegal Sangam parts, we can actually make an upgraded version of this guitar that is absolutely overpowered. This was my go-to weapon for the rest of the playthrough, and along with this, I also crafted myself a full set of Ranger Chlorophyte armor. I found myself Plantera's Bulb, built myself an arena, buffed up, and then went to go fight Plantera. This boss wasn't too challenging, and the fact that I got to listen to some epic music while fighting Salad Boss put a huge smile on my face. After this, I went to go farm out Ectoplasm in order to craft ourselves this one Ectoplasm guitar. Once I had enough 
enough ectoplasm, I made it into Spectre bars and crafted myself the Spectral Shredder, which was the guitar I was previously talking about. It's another magic damage dealing guitar, and I'm pretty sure if we had a full set of Spectre armor, it would actually heal us upon damaging mobs, so it would have been pretty good, but I didn't really want to use up too much of my mana, and plus I really like the music on the Strato Blaster Mark II. After this, I also made myself an above ground mushroom biome in order to prepare ourselves because we're going to need to craft true my armor as that is the best pre moon lord ranger armor in the game once the truffle moved in i bought the auto hammer made myself enough shroom might to craft myself full shroom my armor and then went over to golem's temple in order to fight golem i buffed up summoned him in and absolutely demolished him using the strato blaster mark ii i mean this wasn't even a challenge and i was just finally happy to be one step closer to rocking with moon lord i went back to the jungle to get myself as much chlorified as i could and once i came back to spawn i made myself a bunch of chlorophyte bullets for all of the bosses to come. I buffed up and then went to go fight Lunatic Cultist using the Strato Blaster Mark II. Using the chlorophyte bullets as well as Shrew My Armor, we absolutely demolished this boss and now we started the Celestial Pillars event. There wasn't really much to upgrade from here, so I went straight into the Stardust Pillar. Then I defeated the Solar Pillar next, took out the Vortex Pillar right after, and then left the Nebula Pillar for last. Before fighting Moon Lord, I crafted myself a brand new guitar, which was an upgrade to the Strato Blaster, but essentially it was the solar version of it. It was called the Sunburst, and as the description suggests, it's the ultimate Strato Blaster. Check this out, it shoots like a barrage of fire, this is super epic and I love it to death. Using this, I went to go take out the Nebula Pillar, and once that was done, I rushed all the way back to spawn in order to fight Moon Lord. I was running all around my world trying not to take damage, and I was cheesing him with the nurse, but we ended up taking out his right arm first, we took out his left arm soon after, I went to go heal to the nurse because I did not want to die, and then with the help of the chlorophyte bullets, we took out his middle eye. All that's left now is his core, and this is it boyos. We are about to rock with Moon Lord. I took out his core, and we ended up beating the game. Be sure to check out another video like this on screen, consider subscribing to the channel if you're new, drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. This has been Boyo, peace out.